Okay, hold on with that. We are live. Live. I trust your judgment, Amanda Bangs. Ooh, ponder. So, I think you can see everything. This people. Sorry for all the movement. Okay. There. So let me bring up the live feed feed so I can see what y'all are saying. Memento, a memento. It's somewhere. Oh, found it. All right. Let me turn the volume down. Moose. All right. What is up, you guys? So today. I'm going to figure out the best way to cast dried live flowers in resin. I have already coated these flowers in varnish. I've done two coats. I've coated these in Mod Podge, two coats. These in triple thick glaze, two coats. These in clear pouring top coat from Deco Art two coats and these in glitter sealer two coats i'm also going to do a what's the word all right y'all there's whenever you do side by side tests there's always a a set that has like nothing on i don't know there's a word can't think of the word i don't know so I don't know what I'm missing. I'm just walking around at this point. I'm going, control. That's the word, B. It was control. So I've already marked on my V's that it says which is which. And I have it on this cardboard thing so that I can move it without it spilling out because silicone molds are floptastic. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. Control. I'm also going to do a control, so I'll just pick those. And I've also coated some of the leaves to see which works best for that too. Because if for some reason um, the rose petals do better in one of the different sealants and then... The leads do better in another sealant. I hey. want to know that so I can just coat different things and different stuff and make it do. I did coat both sides twice. Hey, y'all. Um, these two were obviously not aerosol. I had to brush them on, so it took longer for them to dry. And they're, I don't know. I thought they'd be tacky a little bit still, but I don't they're not really yeah they're good they're good I will note that the varnish doesn't seem as shiny as some of the other ones and the flattest one is the glitter sealant which is crazy because you would think that would be the shiniest one because it's supposed to accentuate glitter but I digress <sighs> I am going to be using for this test Stone Coats Supercast Resin. The reason why I'm using this is because this is going to be an e-science thing, but um, I feel like since it's thinner, it's not going to get as hot and heat's going to cook even dried petals 
So I don't want it to get, I would never do it in quick coat because that's just going to bake even if you do seal it. We'll have to do a test on that as well. So as you can see, the hardener and the resin bottles are two different sizes. That's because this is a two to one resin. Don't forget if you get any resin or anything from Stone Coat to use the code YALL, Y-A-L-L -L in all caps to get um, a discount. And I'm not sure how much resin I'm gonna need, but I'm pretty sure it's more than that, so. Let's see, I need to use the two to one. I don't know how to do the ratio thing using two to one. But if I do six ounces in this, then I need to add only three more ounces. That'll make nine. I think. We'll find out together. Whenever you have a two to one resin, always the bigger bottle is the two part and the smaller bottle is the one part. And that's so that it can even out as you create. I'm glad you made it, Anne. I'm almost a thousand percent sure this is not enough, but we'll just make it if we need it. Whoa, I forgot. Super thin. E-math, right? Thank you, Pamela. I hope all of you had an amazing, brilliant-tastic Monday. Brilliant-tastic? Yes, a brilliant-tastic. It's a brand new, fresh, out of the box. Fresh out the box. E-word. 11, 12, I don't know. So I did have some products get damaged on their way to here and they just one of the paints leaked in the box and got on my other paints and so the labels aren't very pretty the paint's fine it's just the labels are kind of trashy because they're stained or like melting away from when we clean them off so we have like a discounted All right, so click on clearance and then discounted products and it'll list all the ones that we have and how many we have. There aren't that many, but they're there. First come, first serve, of course. Hi, Carrie. Hey, Julie, long time no see. Um, I'm gonna cast resin and the reason why is because for my, um, I took some flowers from my dad's memorial bouquet at his service and I want to cast those so I, I want to do tests to make sure I'm doing it the best way possible to preserve those flowers so this is a test for that what's up Carol how's it going over there yes the flowers dried you can dry them by like pressing them in between pages of a book like put them in paper towels heavy book put a couple books on top of it, leave it for a couple weeks and it'll dry out. You can also get like silica pellets and put your flowers in there and it should dry out quick that way. I think someone's also said you could use like kitty litter as well. I don't know about that one, but apparently that's a thing. And then, um, Whoops. That wasn't bueno. And then, um, there's something else you can use, I can't remember. But these I just let dry naturally. They've been drying for months. Thank you, Julie, no worries. Hey, Jacqueline. It does not have an odor. Lisa, also, I recommend never putting your face in a bucket of resin like I just did. 
Hey, Diane, the boys are good. But we had his shots today. Hey, Carol, JJ, Linda. Um, I don't know that you could put flowers on your Kindle and they would dry. But that is fine. If that would only work, you should do like a spoof video. That would be pretty in her turner. Thank you, JJ. So, Rust-Oleum Glitter is this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in there. Clear Deco Art is this one. The Triple Thick Glaze is this one. Mod Podge is this one. And the Camar is this one. So I can get these out of the way. Yeah, but we got a shot today. He was not pumped about it. But tis what it is. And then just regular flowers for the control. I think these are actually testers. Are they? Yeah, because she only sent one. So, and this is limited edition. This is Rich Gold Shimmer. And then, yeah, and then this is a fruit punch, and it's listed as like limited edition. I gotcha. Hey, Sherry. She'd actually look kind of Joe, Teresa, do what? We'd actually look pretty good together. We do look good together, and I would never have thought that they would look good together. Oops. Sorry for the extreme close up. That's just gonna have to be good enough. Alrighty. Hi, Miss Lamb. So, um, I went ahead and wiped all these out with alcohol so that they would not give me any problems from anything that may have like floated around and landed in it because this is a very busy working studio. I'm not sure how I can arrange these so that everything fits and I can see everything. I guess that'll work. Hi, Moose. I think I'm going to have to split some of these rose petals so that they all fit like, and I can um, cover it completely in the resin. Because some of them are sticking up a little bit out of the bowl or whatever word you had that was for that. So I may have to like push them down. I don't know. We'll see. May not have to. But also may have to. Now, I think for my dad's flowers, I'm going to do a coat of the casting epoxy, like a thin little layer. Wait till it's just tacky set, almost dry. Drop the flowers in where I want them. And then wait a little bit for the bottom coat to set up a little bit more so that the flowers stick where I want them and then top coat it. That way I'm not using any glue or anything that may disrupt what I'm trying to do. Oh, I bet it is hot in Galveston.
Glitter is not a bad idea, but I'm going to not use that much of it because I really want to see through and get a good idea to make sure that the color isn't really changing. You know what I mean? Jelly beans. All right. I'm like morbidly terrified of not ever getting everything mixed together completely. But since this is a thinner resin, it should incorporate even more quickly than all of the regular resins. A design element that's perfect. Thank you, Pamela. It rained here for a little bit, but it hasn't in a little while. Right. We have resin. Jovish, I am using their casting epoxy. Starting out with just a little bit in each one, because if I have to make another batch, I want it to be equal parts everything, so it's a fair test, you know? Nah, I mean. Looks like I almost made enough, but not quite. Struggle, struggle y'all. All right, no big deal. I'm just gonna have to math more. So that's a fun time. All right. Holographic flake that's used for nails. Send me a picture, Linda. Uh, I may have. So happy I'm testing different ways to seal in petals. Like dried petals, like which is the best way so that everything keeps its true color. Because if you Don't, um, from what I've read, you need to seal it so that the colors and the leaves and petals and everything stays vibrant and the heat and everything from the resin setting, the endothermic reaction doesn't ruin the flower. So we'll see. Does anyone know how to ink or resin a template like the one Erica has that says fresh? It's India. Um, so the fresh that we have that's behind our, like our set usually is not MDF, but if yours is MDF, then I would just resin it or ink it like you would any canvas. You would need to seal it in with um, like a flat white house paint, sand it down with a 220 or 400 grit sandpaper, and then um, I would use a spray gesso and then sand it again so it's super smooth if you're going to ink it. Can't wait to see it, Linda. Thanks, Miss Lamb. 
Yes, it's real flowers. These flowers were not resin first. All I did was pluck them off of the stems and seal them with one of the five sealants. I'm having to make just a little bit more. These flowers came from Jen after my dad passed away. She sent me some rainbow roses. And I've been using them as a test for a lot of things lately. Not only were they beautiful, they've come in super duper handy. Okay, let's just top these guys off. I almost didn't make enough again. But I think it's just right. My goodness, it worries me that this resin's so thin just because I'm used to it being a lot. More of a thicker consistency. Yeah, no? So this resin does take a little bit longer to set up, but that really largely depends on um, temperature in your studio and a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to have to break some of these petals so that they... lie flat in here. I'm probably also going to have to come back around every so often and push the petals and leaves and stuff down once it gets um, <clears throat> excuse me, more tacky. So since this is a casting epoxy, it's gonna go ahead and expel the air bubbles. And it should come out to be like a super crystal clear finish. I'm stirring the petals around in the molds because I want to try to release any bubbles that may have attached to the petals. Yeah, I'm going to have to split some of these. You work with alcohol links. I've done some tiles, but I'm having problems sealing them without the ink moving after it dries. Any suggestions? Actually, I've had um, the same issue even using Camar varnish, which is what most AI artists use to seal in their alcohol inks. But even with that, I've had issues lately. So I'm actually doing it another test to find out what the best thing is to use for inks to seal them in. I will have that video posted soon. So I've been doing a lot more alcohol ink pieces lately. that's become an issue. I'm just splitting the leaves at the base and folding that little thing in so that I can try to lay down these petals more flat. I'm 
whether it's going to stay or whether it's going to work remains to be seen. And I also am not sure if since these flowers are dyed, if that makes a difference. But I didn't want to do this test on any of my dad's flowers. So, this is what we got to work with, so this is what we're going to work with. I will tell you that just from trying to split these, that the, the flowers that didn't have anything sealing them in are a lot more brittle. So they are just less likely to mold and... be helpful. Ugh. That hurts from that one. All right, let me get some fire BRB. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> Back. So when you're adding heat to this to pop whatever bubbles are on the surface, make sure all your flowers are in the resin or at least really well soaked so that you don't catch them on fire. that's not going to be a good look for anything if you scorch your flowers it really doesn't matter how cute they are after they're sealed if they have like a blemish now I mean Oop, almost caught that one After you start popping the bubbles, try to make sure you don't move around anything too much because you can reincorporate bubbles that way. It's much better idea to do a heat gun on this, but all of ours are not close to me because of the class, which went amazing by the way. Thank you to everybody that showed up for the class or for just the um, anniversary reunion. Also, when you're doing this, be careful not to overheat the edges because if you burn your mold, it's gonna be a lot more difficult to get your piece out. Also, it's going to be releasing bubbles for a while, so every like 30 minutes or so, just walk by and hit it with some heat so that you're helping the bubbles get released. So, I dried the flowers myself. I am using Stone Coat Casting Resin. Um, these flowers were dyed. Let me pull one of these out. Apparently not that one. <laughs> Y'all in my life today. Um, it's beautiful, stunning, but I mean, it is a little bit splotchy because it was a dyed rose. But that's what I'm using in this test just to see which retain better. And I can tell you also already that the control, you can see like water areas where the resin's gotten to it and you know where it's, I don't even know how to, I'll give you a close up. Look at Bowie. What in the world? Bowie has flowers in his mane. Oh. He just wanted some flowers in his hair, Mom. Nailed it. A little bit. Did you, um, did it work, Mike? Hey, Lena, how are you doing? Water stains, that's what I was looking for. So let me bring you guys into a close-up. Air hugs. hugs. Bye, Amanda Bangs. Bye. All right. So these are the remnants of the floors. They are all 
well dried and crispy. These are my boys. What are you doing, Bowie? Hey, did she get the flowers out? Are you just munching on flowers? What about you, Moose? Are you being good? Okay. So, those still look like they're supposed to. Those still look like they're supposed to, boys. The yellow is getting a little bit of, whoops, the resin's getting to it a little bit. So that sealant, the three times glaze, isn't as effective already. That one still looks good, which is Deco Art Clear. That one is getting a little bit watermarked. The glitter sealer. And this one's really showing some watermarks on everything except for the, the leaf. So, so far, boys, the camera varnish, the Mod Podge, and the Deco Art are the front runners thus far. Um, they will be coasters, but I mean, it's honestly, it's just a test for, for me. I'll have to try that, Mike. Yes, I did add a little bit of glitter. Thank you, Angelina's recommendation. Hey, Nene. I started the feed 31 minutes, 49 seconds ago. It sounds good, Mike. So you guys can see that they're floating, but I'll avoid that with my dad's flowers by putting a thin layer in the bottom, waiting till it's tacky set, adding the flowers where I want them, letting it dry a little bit more, and then topping it all off with a lot of resin. With this resin, you can pour it about two and a half inches thick. So for now, since I didn't use anything to stick these down, I'm just gonna have to walk by every little bit, probably every 30 minutes, and push them back into the resin. When you do this, try to make sure you're not just adding more bubbles into it. And you know what, probably this is useless for the first few hours because it's just not going to be thick enough to make a difference. That's what she said. <gasps> He's trying to start trouble, y'all. I'll check for it, Nene. So here's my piece I did yesterday for Pride. And the piece I did for the class and my alcohol ink piece. I did coat that in Camar varnish and the triple glaze. Um, it's still faded. I did probably seven coats and it's still faded. So I think I'm going to try next time if the Mod Podge or the acrylic pouring top coat works on whichever one works best. Bye, Playful. I'll, um, whichever one works best, I'm gonna try it on this one, the large round that are. Bow beans. You have flowers in your hair, again. Anyways. So, that's where I'm at, y'all. So, the round wood painting is alcohol inks on this is our all the way around so that you can hang them more easily resin 
palm. Sorry it keeps freezing, y'all. Probably because I'm moving around too fast. He's just a little troublemaker, isn't he? Anyways, you guys, tomorrow I will post an update of these guys. Boys. And hopefully it works. What's up, Lost Art? Hey, Sour Grapes. Um, we'll be at Makerspace. B, we going tomorrow? Yeah. We'll be there manana. So, um, Diane has our PC and she is um, asking her hubby to work on it. Boys, enough. She's asking her husband to work on it for me and see if he can fix it. Because Geek Squad was basically like, I don't know what to tell you. So that was fun. Anyways, you guys, thanks for tuning in, seeing what we're up to. And um, being part of the fam. Hey, Olympia. This is what we did. I hope you watched the playback. Um, we'll be live tomorrow early because it's Tuesday. So look for us at 2 p.m. Central Standard, Dallas, Texas, United States time. So whatever time zone you're in, that would be boys. Six, six and a half hours ago. Hey. Calm down, you two. So, yeah. So, we'll see you all tomorrow. Tell Paul I said bye. B. I said bye. Actually, I forgot to tell you guys to be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. So, now, bye. I said bye.